or whether you go big or small with a new home, furnishing the interior can sometimes be even more of a challenge than the exterior. It's a lot to consider with a whole industry of woodworking and surfacing springing up around it. Blaine Singletary introduces us to an Oklahoman who learned the tricks of the trade early and is now giving them back. From flooring, to countertops, to cabinets, your new house's shopping list doesn't end at the front door. That's where Terry Owen comes in. I'm a territory sales manager for um, ISC Surfaces, which is a woodworking distribution center. ISC, or Interstate Supply Company, acts as a middleman of sorts between the tile and woodworking manufacturers and the builders who help put it all together in your home. So we sell to the cabinet maker, to the kitchen designer. Um, we call on architects and designers and get them to specify our products and commercial projects and that kind of stuff. If you were going to do a kitchen remodel or maybe you're building a new house and you're going to do a kitchen or maybe you have a business and you need commercial millwork, um, a lot of the products, hinges and drawer guides, the surfacing that would be in your project might come from ISC. Terry enjoys his job in sales, but that's far from the only position he's held in this industry. It's a neat position for me now because it ties back to what I've done in the past and a lot of the former people either that I used to work for or I used to work with are now my customers today. His over 30 year long career got its start in the last two years of high school. As a student at Putnam City High, he attended Francis Tuttle's carpentry program and also participated in the annual Skills USA competition where, as the name implies, your hands-on skills are put to the test. You don't know what you're doing, what you're going to build or anything. You've got a small materials list and you show up, you've got six to eight hours to build your project and get as close to complete as you can and the, at the end of the day the best project wins. His education and handiwork got him a job right out of high school in a cabinet shop. And that's why he says he gives back to the program that gave him that start. With ISC's help and with uh, Bloom Hardware's help, well, we've donated some material for the state cabinet making contest this year and also for last year's state cabinet making contest. So we try to give back to the community where we can and try to help place students um, coming out of the carpentry program and help find them jobs with who's my customers today. Another way he does that is by judging the competition and securing other professionals in his field to do the same. It's good to get some industry professionals to be the judges in that and you never know, sometimes maybe those guys might want to hire somebody who's coming out of career tech. Literally being able to see what an applicant is capable of can be a huge help to employers. And Terry says that's what makes career tech really stand out, especially in the midst of a skills gap. It's a great program. Uh, more and more we need people to work in the trades industries. Um, it's kind of something that, that needs to happen with technology the way that it is today. There's not the craftsmen that there used to be um, back in the 70s and 80s. So it's, a, it's certainly a good lead into a great career and a very rewarding career. No matter if a house or building is new or needs a remodel, there will always be a project and pride for those in this trade. Something that's really great about working in this trade is the um, gratification of working on something, maybe a large project or a small project, and then seeing that project from raw plywood or raw hardwood created into a cabinet or a bar in a restaurant. And there's nothing like standing back at the end of a job and seeing it all completed and the reward from seeing what your work done and it completed and people coming in and enjoying it. Now, if you'd like to learn more about Skills USA, we have plenty of videos from past competitions on our website at okhorizon.com under our value added section.